Hi folks and welcome to this week's Radical Track Guide at Barber. Now, I haven't been around here in an awful long time and some of the mistakes that I've kept in this video should go to show it as well. Uh, I've left them in there because it seems to want to face the other way, this Radical around this track. So yeah, I've left the mistakes in there just as a reminder of how easy it is to face the wrong way. So take a chill pill and uh, be easy on that throttle application, particularly on the first two laps. It is sketchy to say the least. Uh, track temp, you can see there, 89 Fahrenheit degrees will be above my head. You can see the setup there, we're using identical to Barber, which is one of the iRacing fix setup for this track, which is fine. And moderate usage for the track usage, 45% is what I always, always use. The lap I'm actually gonna show you is 25. We did maybe hit a few walls on lap 15. So this is a new car, I think that about seven or eight gallons in the tank so yeah lap 15 at 117.895 now my optimal was a 17.3 no idea where that other half a second is i will be enjoy trying to find that but needless to say the uh the uh <laughs> optimal lap will be faster um above my head you should see discord where the olap be like tenor and replay file are all kept in there also got a nice schedule on there so you can see what track guides i've done in the past and how they appear in this season's schedule uh updated every season so it should all be nice and dandy and good in there the other screen is how i get into these sessions which i use the i racing ui obviously this is pre-recorded live stream on a monday night and uh yeah pre-recorded so that's how i get into these sessions to try and make them as accurate as possible otherwise without waffling out the way let's crack on with the guide Right, Barber Motorsport, and it has been a while since I've been here. Skippy, I think, was the last thing I raced. Anyway, turn one, we are dropping down a few cogs, and we are missing that curb on the inside because it is actually huge. Avoid the uh, off-track and road on the right-hand side. It can uh, come to bite you, and we're breaking just at the end of the pit exit. Pick, break in a nice straight line over the crest. Stay nice and wide, really late apex here. Need to get a good exit because it does lead on to a nice little straight. Again, avoid that curb just here on the inside. It is a bit dangerous. And watch out for oversteer about now. You can spin very easy on the first few laps here, particularly over this little crest. Make sure you have a, la a lift on lap one or two. Um, only a slight lift, maybe 10%, something like that. Downhill braking zone again, and we're braking just before the two board and break in a nice straight line. Now, this is my first mistake here, and uh, basically pay attention because I don't want you to make the same mistake I do first gear around here but look too much throttle too much steering and we get a proper wiggle on and uh, yeah it's not very good not very good for lap time so just be cautious about coming out of there on full power you do need a good exit because it's quite a good little run down here to the next complex but yeah maybe second gear and just be easy on that throttle not like what I did around there one board we are breaking into this very tricky section now you can clip these curves through here because you are cool kind of falling with grace at this point all the way down the gearbox into first gear again i found second just understeered at this point and you just plow off into the grass but yeah nice easy application of the throttle i've learned from my mistake from the last corner and get a nice good drive out here the quick left right chicane is very fun so just as the curbing starts on the right hand side turn in miss the first curb but you can give this little curb a little cheeky tickle as you go past it doesn't push you too far wide on exit but just be cautious through there again first few laps cold tires best corner on the circuit here turn uh, sorry one board you are absolutely flying in here and you can have a slight lift clip the apex as soon as you pass the apex stand on the brakes third or fourth round here but just be careful about over uh, understeering off here and a little bit of snap oversteer as well it's very easy to run off the grass on the left hand side this little kink is absolutely flat and now we're trying to pick our breaker zone which is very awkward because it's about here you don't know where this corner is going but it is going to the right hand side now we do miss the apex ever so slightly because the front tires i think are struggling due to them last few corners back there but all you need to do is worry about this one because it's the most important one so get onto the right hand side of the track miss the curve again and get a nice smooth application of throttle out of here again not a lot of runoff on the exit so be mindful of that and that is us done and dusted in a very well suited circuit to the radical i felt and uh, it's a 117.895 when we cross the line but yeah not sure there's gonna be a lot of overtaking because it's quite a tight technical circuit not many straights to get a good slipstream and not many places to take a dive bomb uh turn one is too fast maybe the hairpin at turn five but yeah, not really a lot of places to overtake. It's a good circuit. It's a challenge. Um, yeah, survive. Lots of spins in practice for me, uh, where I showed you as well. Just be careful of turn two that I didn't mention. It's very easy to spin around there if you do uh, have too much throttle, uh, brake application, sorry, into the corner. Brake bars for this, I did rein it down a little bit to about 55% to uh, try and stop that over rotation on the front side on the, uh, yeah, on the radical. But otherwise, thank you very much for watching. There is one more thing I need to borrow you for. I mentioned it at the start, but 
what track guide are we doing next season vote in the comments vote on discord vote wherever you want but uh, as long as i can get to see it i will count the vote and go from there thank you very much for watching catch you on the next one